Early in the morning on Christmas Day, there was a magnitude 6.3 earthquake in Kalatagan, Batangas. It shook many parts of Metro Manila. An earthquake shook some people awake on Christmas morning in parts of Luzon, including Metro Manila in Philippines. According to the Philippine seismologist, he has reported that there is a magnitude 6.3 earthquake that hit Kalatagan, Batangas at 7.43 a.m. It had a depth of 102 kilometers and was tectonic in origin. This means that this earthquake caused a movement in the Earth's crust. It had an intensity or moderately strong shaking and it was felt in Lemery and Malvar, Batangas, San Pedro, Laguna, Manila City, Marikina City, Quezon City, Cainta and Antipolo City, Rizal and Pasig City. The following areas experienced intensity 3, characterized by weak shaking. Calacucan City, Tene Rizal, San Jose del Monte City, and Plaridel Balucan. Gapan City, Nueva Ecija, Cabagan and Ibia Zambales, Samal Batan, Valenzuela City, and Malbon City. Intensity 2 shaking was reported in San Isidro. Nueva Ecija and Alamino City, Pangasinan. This also means that the persons in these areas were slightly jolted by the tremor from the earthquake. The earthquake agency recorded at least eight aftershocks since the earthquake occurred at 7.43 a.m. today. They have also mentioned that there was no tsunami threat coming from the earthquake. Luban Occidental Mindoro Mayor Mike Oriani has told the media that the earthquake has damaged three houses in the town, but local officials in Batangas have so far not reported any damages or casualties in their city. Operations of the MT, R3 and LRT2 stations were briefly suspended, and officials have issued separate advisories after the lines facility or checked for possible damage from the earthquake. Less than three hours after the Kalatagan quake, a magnitude 5.2 earthquake struck beneath waters off the town of Sarangani, Davao Occidental. Initially, the report was that the quake was at magnitude 5.3, but later it was downgraded in a follow-up advisory. Intensity 2 was felt in Alabel, Sarangani, while Intensity 1 was reported in Kiamba, Sarangani, Coronadal City, and General Santos City. According to the officials, they are not expecting any damage, but have issued warnings for possible aftershocks. The earthquake, which happened at 10 a.m., was also tectonic in origin, with a depth of 111 kilometers. December 24th, an earthquake of magnitude 6.3 hit the Mindoro region of the Philippines. The European Mediterranean Seismological Center has reported this earthquake. The earthquake occurred at a depth of 144 kilometers or 89 miles. The tremor, which was also felt in the capital region, also registered a magnitude of 6.3 at the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. The center was traced at Kalakagan in Batangas province, according to an initial report from the Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. They said it did not expect much damage, but warned of aftershocks. They also followed this with a tsunami warning. An earthquake of magnitude 6.3 occurred 11 minutes ago, 52 kilometers southwest of Bailan, Philippines. According to the German Research Center of Geosciences, the quake hit at a shallow depth of 10 kilometers beneath the epicenter near Balayan, Batangas, Calabar Zone, Philippines, on the morning of Friday, 25, 2020. The exact magnitude, epicenter, and depth of the earthquake might be revised within the next few hours or minutes 
as seismologists review data and refine their calculations, or as other agencies issue their report. A second report was later issued by the European Mediterranean Seismological Center, which listed it as a magnitude 5.6 earthquake. Based on the preliminary seismic data, the quake should have been widely felt by almost everyone in the area of the epicenter. It might have caused light to moderate damages. The magnitude of the earthquake would update automatically, and the depth as well. If these change and there is a follow-up, there will be other significant updates about the earthquake once it becomes available. The warning has been issued for persons who are in that area. They're asking for them to take the necessary precautions. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this early Christmas morning earthquake which occurred in Philippines close to the South China Sea. Of course, earthquakes are quite dangerous and come as a shock and a surprise, but it seems like earthquakes happen in the Philippines quite often. Thanks for watching and remember to enjoy the festive season and be safe. Goodbye.